Right then, just going into this Brockwell wood. Brockwell itself is a third of a mile away. Dungree Beacon's two and a quarter miles, which I've just walked. And it'll be all uphill in a minute. But I'm going back a different way, I'm doing a circular. Now, there's a pub at Brockwell. But I'm just, I'm just coming this wood to have a look, basically. And I expect a lot of people come in here for lots of reasons. To admire the trees, to go to the loo, whatever you need to do. I mean, when you're out in the country, no one can expect you to hold on all day. But no one talks about it, you know. You just go quietly and hide under, under a bush or in a tree or something. I'm doing a circle. I'm, my instinct is taking me that way. That way around, and in a minute, cool, I've just seen a big buzzard or another owl just fly through. Yeah, he's heard me, he's going round, he's doing a circular. <sighs> yeah, so this is a nice wood, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, if I went on to uh, Courtney Sutney, that would be probably, you could probably add another half an hour on that. And I think I've done enough today. Because you, when you go somewhere new for the first time, you do use quite a bit of energy. Just going to stop a minute in case it turns itself off. But give me a minute, I'll be straight back on. Right, I'm straight back on again. Yeah, when you go somewhere new, you, lose, you do use a lot of mental energy. Um, because you're having to be alert, looking for turn-ins. Even now it looks like I'm deviating a bit too far away, doesn't it? See, that I'm going down that way now, but it probably curves back round again. Right, I'm just going to stop a minute. Stop again. Right then, I've reached a junction point. You can go to Brockwell down there where there's a pub. Then you'd have to walk a bit further to get to, to uh, the village of Watton. <sighs> can't remember the other word now. Whatever it was called. Watton. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, down there. That's where the church was. I'm not going to go there today. I think I've done enough really. I'm going to go because it's all new. I've wrecked enough for now. Um, so you've got Bridalway to Dungree Beacon. You've got Bridalway to Brockwell. You've got Permitted Bridalway to Afford and Permitted Bridalway to Weber's Post. Weber's Post. That's right. Once we get to Weber's Post, we'll start seeing the beacon again. Right then. So though there was about 10 walkers a minute ago. It was a group that I'd seen earlier and it could be that they'd gone down just down to Brockwell there and gone in the pub for pub lunch. They would have been way ahead of me or just stopped there for a minute, I don't know. Or they hadn't. Or maybe they had only just weaved their way round. So all I know now is I've got a long climb up but this is a different path. So I'm leaving Brockwell Wood with its beautiful old avenues of trees. Looks very nice, very pretty. <laughs> Worth exploring on its own down there. All I know is I've researched the walk down from the beacon. And I'm not getting any younger, so I will now know once I've done this up that I'd probably say to myself, like I do with uh, Crocom Hill. Don't do it twice. <sighs> you know, so uh, this is being done because it might be the only time I do it. Not because I'm going to drop dead yet or anything, but I've got a lot to do. And uh, I've got to spread myself out. Now, in many ways, it's a good job that I didn't coincide with the big group. I would, have, I would have had to have let them go anyway. I could have cut through as well up there. But something said, no, go in the wood. 
there might be some plaques, there might be some signposts, and there were. So that made it easy to remember. Whereas if you just cut off suddenly, you haven't seen... Oh look, there's someone's got a... I just noticed these orange things. Obviously to guide people, there's another one further up. Ah. I've got no one guiding me. <laughs> It'll be easier on the feet going up though, and the ankles and the knees. The knees will suffer in a different way. Right. There's a bit of a hill there. But that is not the top. That bit there is just a small ridge. Up there, look, where a deer could be even. The beacon is much further over. I'd walked down from close to that earlier. I'd come down, there's a road up the top there where people are parked. Um, and of course I'm parked much further along. But I thought, no, let's do that circular walk, it looks really nice. And there are people ahead of me, of course. I can understand people wanting to go in groups. It's comradeship, teamwork and all that, isn't it? I do understand it, and I am, believe it or not, I am a team player, really, as well. But I actually like doing my videos, my photos. Um, and I've got, like I said, though I get around to doing these walks, I still have breathing problems. These are cut away on purpose, I reckon, to drain the water out. All these little uh, markers here. Now we're, what we're doing here, it might be easier actually. You know like earlier, when I first left the van, I skirted the base of the beacon on the other side of the hill. Well I reckon this might be doing that this side. So that in the end you've only got the last spurt to do. I reckon that's what's going to happen. Yeah. If I remember looking, it's lower down this path. I've just come literally from the top. That must be the hardest climb, doing that one, going, going up. So it's literally up and up and up. This is inclined, look. This is uh, quite flat. So I think I've done it the right way round, coming down 1,700 and something feet. Might bump into some people that, about 10 minutes after me, might have, might have dropped down to this path. At the same time, they might have gone over there where there'll be another path going to that Horn Hill place. There's another village there where they've got, they do cream teas and everything where you can park. There'll be another path that's going to take you down there somewhere. Right, just turn in off for a minute in case the camera plays up, just for a minute. 